think what attracted us to the house was it's kind of that classic all-American two-story house with the white picket fence. We really like that. We've just talked about like how could we make it not so cookie cutter, maybe stick out a little bit from the rest of the neighborhood. It is very windy. It's windy. Your house is super cute. Thank you. I'm interested to hear kind of what you guys like and don't like. I love that it's timeless white classic. Right. You drive around and you'll see this exact house 12 times, yeah. maybe not the same color right, right. and all that. We could definitely change the look of this whole house just with some like minor things. Painting is gonna go a long way. Add some color to the garage doors. I think whitewashing the brick would be cute. Bring some wood accents I think might be fun along with the white and black. Uh, maybe like a cute little pergola. A new landscaping will bring life to the whole picture. Tell me about this room, what's working for you, what's not working for you. We've been here, what, seven years, and we kind of did everything seven years okay. ago. Mm -hmm. So I want to step away from like the old traditional farmhouse right. look and really modernize the space. I like to have a little edge on the farmhouse vibe. I hate this fireplace. Okay. I think fireplaces can always mm -hmm. be such a focal right. point. Mm -hmm. You like patterns, you like to keep it more simple. I like patterns to an extent. I get so sick of things really right. fast. So do you have a hard time going bold? I think I just get sick of staring right. at things. So then I just like kind of play it safe. Right. So the fireplace is a yay or nay on doing like a fun tile here? Um, probably not. Okay. Ultimate goals, move the bathroom, storage, pantry, island, mm -hmm. mud room. Yeah. Did I miss anything? I don't know, the list is getting good long. <laughs> All within this space, I think for the style and design, we're really gonna take that farmhouse and kind of bring it up to the new, very clean and simple. But it's not your mama's modern farmhouse. <laughs> mm, yes. Right. <laughs> yeah. First thing is that we have to upgrade their flooring throughout the main level. So I'm thinking we make the fireplace the wow moment in the family room with some natural stone and black shiplap. For the kitchen, getting rid of that L-shaped counter is key for the flow. I'm picturing an island with a dramatic top, sleek cabinets, cool textured tile, and a custom statement vent hood to shake things up. The washer and dryer will move upstairs so we can move Beth and Ryan's powder room into their laundry space. So much more private. We'll move the door to the original bathroom around the corner and turn that space into a pantry with tons of storage. Doing that black and white is always so striking. Having some contrast with the wood elements, I really think it's gonna look amazing. So there'll be two pergolas, there'll be one here, one over there. Yep, up on the top gable over there. And I love the raw cedar. By adding the pergolas, I feel like it just adds so much more detail that it was missing before, and that is really where we're getting the fab part of the farmhouse fab. Not, this is the tile? Yes. I thought the hexagon tile would be perfect. Is there certain ways that you can lay it? This is more of your straight lay here, which okay. is the more common lay that people go with. Okay. But if you want to switch it and put the parallel lines this way, mm -hmm. we can do that as well. This way reminds me of like a honeycomb. Wow, this is looking cool. Chelsea Shiplap. Can I help? Absolutely. When you think of farmhouse, obviously you think of shiplap. What takes us to the fabulous level is that when you install it at an angle and you paint it black, it just is a more elevated version. Yeah, you wanna hold the other side? Oh yeah. Thank you. Okay, that feels too high. Does it? Yeah, back down so that the bottom's right on that line. Boom. I think that is the perfect height. I just think it's gonna be perfect for Christmas stockings and it just doesn't feel too high or too low. Perfect. All right. It's gonna look so good. So because we had to flip that island 90 degrees, I am so glad that Beth and Ryan's view from the living room is going to be that waterfall edge. This is definitely the wow moment for this room. It was very basic and now it's bam. I'm feeling pretty confident, but there's still a chance that they won't like it or we push the boundaries too much. With every reveal, there's just a little bit of worry that they're not gonna like it, but th I think that's normal. And I hope we always have just a little bit of nerves. Yeah. We care so much about what the clients think. I'm glad that we're nervous going into it. Mm -hmm. Hi! Hey guys! Hey. How's it going? Hello. 
How are you guys? We are excited. Are you? Good. Here's your house. Holy house. Oh my gosh. Oh, it looks so that much looks better. So good. <gasps> ah, so I cool. love it. This looks so good. Yay. I love it. We painted the siding and the brick white. We went with a bold black right in the center. I thought that would accent that bump out really nicely. Yeah. And it, just the contrast of the white and black really is what makes it look more modern. It looks absolutely like a different house. Adding the shutters and the pergola to this really modern paint job was really about finding the balance between that more traditional farmhouse and the more modern and just blending it together. This house went from 2000 right. to, yep. to now. It looks it so looks good. incredible. All new landscaping out here. I don't even know. I'm like trying to look at every little detail. Right. Like, oh my gosh, I love that. Oh my gosh, I love that. The paver <laughs> walk up is incredible. We added a little bench area. I thought that would be a nice looks addition. Awesome. It looks like our Christmas card picture for sure. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Good one. Are you guys ready to go in? Yes. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh my goodness. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh. This looks like what? a completely new house. <laughs> Unbelievable. Uh, this is like cool. transformation. Holy smoke. Yeah. Your playroom before was really just all about having toys yeah. everywhere. And since this is the first room you really see when you walk into your house, right. I wanted it to be able to represent you guys as well as work for your kids. So we thought doing these custom built-ins with a little bench and storage are gonna really last you through these kid days and this yeah. season of life you're in now, but yeah. also the next seasons of life as well. Yeah. I love that light in the black because. ceiling. Yesterday when we were here really finalizing everything, getting these lights up, and yeah. I was like, do we have extra black paint? Yeah. yeah. And we painted this literally yesterday. Awesome, looks great. I love all the storage and the cute little bench. Yes. And I love the shutters. They open up. That's, that's really, awesome. That is that awesome. Is awesome. It's just like very a very cool. traditional feel. Yeah, it looks so good. I love it. <laughs> all right, you guys ready to see your living room? Let's do it. Oh my gosh. Wow, <gasps> this looks so much uh, bigger. Look at the that fireplace, fireplace is incredible. I always say that every room needs to have its wow moment. Mm -hmm. And when I came into your space the first time, your fireplace just kind of blended in with everything else going on. So I took that as an opportunity to really do something that is gonna feel grand. I thought by bringing the stone all the way to the ceiling, and going at an angle with that ship lap on the side there was mm -hmm. just gonna elevate this room to make it feel bigger. Oh, it looks so much wider. It does. It does. Wow. And even though I'm the furniture guy, the furniture looks way better. Yes! It looks this place way say, better. I think your Absolutely. big couches really made this feel a lot smaller. It totally did. You can still get that same amount of seating and that same cozy feeling just by changing a little bit of that layout. I it's love the floor. Amazing. I yes. love the design. I love the herringbone and it's so subtle. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it just like yeah. right. flows. It was all about taking something classic and timeless, but yeah. putting a small twist on it to make it your own and give it personality. Yeah. Are you guys ready to see your kitchen? Yes. yes. All right. Absolutely. All right. Look. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> that looks oh my gosh. so good. I love the island. We wanted a statement. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. works. Remember when we talked about the flow of the yeah. kitchen? Right. And before people would come in, get a drink, and then they'd be trapped They're in the corner. Right oh. behind their... Look at this now. It's like, it's so good. boom, <laughs> yes. food, Full drinks, traffic. all around. Set up the buffet line. Yes. Just walk right through. I really love the waterfall. Since we weren't able to give you an island that faced out into the living room, yeah. I thought this really was the perfect time to do a waterfall. I could see it when you're in your living room, yeah. another space, and you're seeing something interesting and you're not just looking at the side of a cabinet. Right, yeah. yeah. I love the pattern that they did with this way more fun than just kind of a traditional tile. It was finding the balance. So yeah. we went with a really sleek, more modern flat front cabinet. Yeah. This house really was all about that modern farmhouse feel, but it's just all about bringing different textures and finishes, you know, the industrial feel of the vent hood. The vent yeah. hood looks amazing. That's super fun. And that was custom made for you, so nobody yeah. else is picking yeah. that up at the right. store. Right, right, that's Perfect. awesome. I love this kitchen. Why don't you guys check out your pantry? That's a new addition. Yeah. Oh, it looks oh, yeah. so this looks good. So good. 
so much storage. Yeah. How did we even have this much room here to work with? Right, right. So we closed off the bathroom wall, mm -hmm. got rid of the bathroom, yep. and then just made a new entry over here. Yeah. And now is a perfect spot for a walk-in pantry. Awesome. Yeah. I suppose we better see where the bathroom went. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Get on in there. Get on in that bathroom. Let's take a peek. Oh, wow. Oh, this I... looks so <laughs> good. Nice. It's it looks so oh, awesome. It looks so good. And now people won't hear you praying exactly. from your living room. You're right. actually tucked away like yeah. you should be. <laughs> Privacy it. is good. I love this flooring. Yes. The flooring is awesome. That is perfect. So this was a spot where I brought in some traditional shiplap, but uh -huh. stopped halfway yeah. to kind of make it different. Yeah. Farmhouse luxury. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. Check out your new mudroom walkers. This looks so much wider. It does. It's just a great space. Home run. It's amazing. Yeah. Everything you picked just works. We're so glad we had you do it, that you did push the boundaries and like do some things that we wouldn't have on their own, because it was just us not being bold, but we totally love it. We appreciate you guys trusting us yeah. with this process. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. This is an awesome. And we'll do it. Awesome. Absolutely.